Hello and good evening. Welcome to Cab and Finder TV. My name is Graham Powell and tonight we're visiting the Glamping Show, the first time the show's ever been held and it's at Kenilworth in Warwickshire and there's lots and lots to see. Now glamping over the last few years has become a huge industry all to itself and families and individuals who are attracted to glamping will, hopefully at some point in the future, also be attracted to the wonderful world of caravan, motorhome and holiday home ownership. So we thought we'd spend some time looking to see what's out there attracting families to at least getting outside. Now I've managed to get hold of this very special lady, Harry Seddon, who's the founder of the company that makes this amazing, well, what would you call it? It's called a Lotus Bell Tent. And the name of the company is? Lotus Bell Tents Limited. Funny that. <laughs> and now you came up with the whole design, didn't you? Yes. And it's based on a cross between a Mongolian yurt and a standard bell tent. So it's trying to encompass the best of both worlds. So it's got the height of a yurt at the side. Yeah but it packs into a small bag, about 110 centimetres by 40 by 40, like a bell tent. And there's various sizes available? Yeah, this is the smaller one, it's a four metre. I've just started making a pop-up version which comes without a centre pole, which is a th three metre tent for kind of a kid's side tent. And I also make a five metre, which is enormous. Yeah, I mean, it just feels so spacious inside. Yeah, so compared to a bell tent of the same size, you can you really get like head height all, to, all the way to the edges. Yeah. So tell me more about the actual construction of the Lotus Bell Tent. So it has 10 supporting wall poles that are made of steel. They add to the weight of the tent, but they make it give it this sort of uh, rigidity and makes it very sturdy in the wind. So it's got a lot of anchorage points around the outside of the tent. Um, and when you fold it away, they concertina into a kind of long banana shape. So it's, it's quite easy to pack away. You can put it up in about 20 minutes. Really? Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been making them? So I designed it about 15 years ago when I was 19. I'm giving my age away. You are a little bit. <laughs> Um, but I didn't do anything with it for a long time, so I just kept it in my sketchbook because I designed it when I was doing my degree. Um, and then I designed, uh, I went to a tent manufacturer who makes good quality bell tents about five years ago now. And he was very kind, introduced me to his manufacturer in China. And um, I've been using them for the last four years and they make excellent quality tents. Mm -hmm. So it seems a natural choice to make my tents. They use the best materials and they know they're really good at quality control. So. so where have you sold them to? So I have a distribution centre in New Zealand and Australia. We have a centre in California. Um, I have a distributor in South Korea, of all places, and France, um, Netherlands, and I ship to the whole of Europe from the UK. <laughs> and if someone has fallen in love with this, which is not difficult to do because it is absolutely beautiful, how much is it? So this model is £1,090, including VAT. Um, the largest model with the most deluxe sort of luxury, the top of the price range is 1790 with all of the additional features. Great. Well, Harry, nice to meet you, and best of luck at the show. Thank you very much. My name is Adam, uh, I'm one of the founders of uh, Freedoms, uh, Geodesic Dome Structures uh, Company. Um, we're inside of our new product uh, called F-Domes for glamping. This is F-Dome 20, the smallest one in the, in the range, 5 meter diameter, 20 square meters of uh, floor area. Uh, what you see here is a fully featured uh, dome for, for glamping, so we have um, an insulation, we have solar fan, we have curtains, um, wood burning stove and a chimney. Um, in standard, it comes equipped with a white membrane, uh, three uh, windows, and this clear bay window um, and at, the, at the front, and obviously the, the zip door. Um, and then you can add, configure all the options on, uh, on, on our website, all, all, the, uh, all the features um, as, uh, as necessary. What does it take to put up? Um, it takes uh, 
um, about six to eight hours to put up. We usually say um, it, it takes about one full day for the first time when you're setting it up. It comes on a standard Euro pallet in, a, in one box. Everything you need to, to build it, uh, including the tools, assembly manuals, uh, is, uh, comes with the dome. So um, you can actually build it on your, on your own. You don't need our uh, assembly crew to, um, to do that. Now you can uh, take them down after the season, uh, it takes a few hours as well, or you can leave them all year round. Uh, they, they, this is actually what we recommend to, to do, um, to, to leave them up all year round. They're good in very harsh weather conditions, uh, um, they survive, uh, survive harsh winters, uh, winters or violent windstorms. Um, all our structures are calculated when it comes to wind loads for up to 120 kilometers per hour so comply, um, complying with European Union uh, norms um, and some of them were uh, tested um, in aerodynamic tunnel for up to 240 kilometers per hour wind so they are very rigid uh, very strong structures the the wind um, pushes the structures down rather trying to pull it off from the ground so um, so they're good on the seaside locations uh, um, and, and very safe what different sizes are there um, there are five different sizes in this product range, uh, starting with uh, this one, five meter diameter, then the next one is uh, six meter diameter, 30 square meters of uh, floor area, and they go up to 110 square meters of floor area, 12 meter uh, diameter. The, the bigger domes, we say, they, they are ideal for social uh, meeting spaces on camping and glamping uh, sites, um, while 30s or 50s would be ideal for whole families, and this the, the smallest one uh, is perfect for for a couple so what extras are there so there are um, there's a range of uh, extra features extra accessories starting with um, insulation layer this is especially good uh, during the winter it keeps the heat inside of the dome and, and also during the summer prevents the heat and humidity build, build up um, very useful and it's a new introduction to to the product line then we have a wood burning stove with a chimney um, also extremely useful especially during the winter cartons uh, for extra privacy, that's uh, this is an additional accessory, and also a solar fan um, that prevents uh, heat buildup and, and humidity buildup. All these features are um, additional. You can configure them, order afterwards after your dome is uh, set up. Final question: What's the price? So the dome that we are standing in, it starts. Um, the price starts at uh, 1,800 pounds for the most basic uh, version. So the outer skin, white membrane with the clear part and the steel framework. Um, it includes um, everything you need to, to build the dome, including the anchor uh, pins, um, 80 centimeter long steel pins to, to anchor the dome to the ground, uh, and fully featured, featured with all the accessories. It goes up to 4,400 pounds. There was certainly a lot to see, and one exhibit that was catching a lot of attention was this rather special caravan. Made by Driftwood Campers, where the owner of the company has been a master carpenter for over 30 years. So it's no surprise that he wanted to apply his expertise to a caravan. All of his caravans are made to order in their Gloucestershire workshops. Each are customised to your own personal requirements and a customer is actively encouraged to get involved at the design stage. And just so you know, no, it's not a caravan that has been covered in wood. Instead, it's been built using a reclaimed and restored chassis and the body is made from a coir wood. And the 
price of this caravan is in the region of 35 to 38 thousand pounds though the final price will vary slightly depending on your final design Well that's it for part one, see you after the break. Welcome back. With a fridge, with hold, with cold and hot water, yes, with a cooking plate. We're gonna go into the bathroom, full equipped, with a toilet, with a wash sink, with cold and hot water, yes, and a shower. Now I'm going to show you the master bedroom with a big bed. We have a large storage area for all your personal stuff. Okay, so we can go further on into the children's bedroom with a bunk bed, with a single bed. Yes, we can provide it in steel black if you like the color, but also in handmade wooden furniture. So now we are here in the very spacious living room with a bank, a table and three chairs to make it you comfortable to have a night to have a nice meal with your family we have a lot of space we thought about everything we produced it as a multi-layer design with insulated fibers inside to make it you very comfortable we thought about even we thought about insulated curtains on the inside when it's cold inside you close simply those those insulated curtains and you will be found in fine inside so then we thought about ventilation when we must insulate we don't must not forget to ventilate so we have made easy clippets to fur to close it and to open it so this tent costs 19,900 pounds which included the delivery of the tent we can offer your erection service if required thank you Now don't adjust your sets, it really is this strange shape and I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about this stunning unit on the DP stand and I've got Leander Hobbs, who's one of the bosses of the company, to tell me all about it. Hello. 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 Hello, right, yes. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it is absolutely stunning. Um, so, yes, yeah, so believe it or not, this is all made of plants. Um, we, what we have here is a biocomposite of cork and then we use hemp or jute or hessian. Uh, so sort of similar to the sacking that you get when you um, buy a hessian bag. But what we've done here is we've made a really gorgeous plastic that is um, completely um, uh, eco, it can biodegrade and it can be moulded so that you can make these beautiful structures um, what's really great about these is that they will last 25 years. They're really easy to keep, um, they just wipe them down and they create this beautiful space um, that's really cosy for glamping. It's warm in the winter, cool in the summer. Um, this is our baby, this is our baby DP, it's three metres. Um, and as you can see, it's really, really cosy. Um, we've had loads and loads of interest today because um, it's such a unique shape. Um, what's great, another great thing about this is you can get interconnecting tunnels. Um, it comes with um, another pod that you can have toilets and showers in so you can have them en suite. So we make these um, handmade in Froome. We make them bespoke to our customers so you will never get two the same. Um, this is our baby if you want to step inside. Um, so this is our baby, this is um, our three metre DP. We have um, been told it's like the TARDIS because you, you wouldn't believe how much room there is actually in here. But if this isn't big enough for you, we do have a five metre one. That doubles the volume in here, which means that you can have a double bed and two single beds easily in here um, in the five metre. That makes it a really nice family space. Uh, we also have a two metre pod that can be connected and that can have a toilet and a shower so you can have it en suite um, or it can be used as a kitchenette for, for home cooking. This means that in terms of flexibility of space 
uh, if you're looking for um, temporary or permanent space um, for anything from a home office to sleeping in, um, the DP is a really lovely, lovely um, investment and um, we're really excited to be here. The DP comes in any colour. So you can have them natural, as you've seen here. You can have them um, blue, pink, purple, yellow. Um, you can even have them gold or, or silver. So if you really want some bling, go for the gold and silver. We could do them camouflage. Um, we could make them orange like pumpkins. Um, so really, it's down to your imagination. In terms of price, um, our uh, beautiful three meter one is 6,500 pounds plus VAT and the five meter ones are 10,000 pound plus VAT um, but again because it's all bespoke uh, we can work with you to create the living space for your budget. Has the show been successful for you? Yeah I mean we've been blown away by the reception. Um, yesterday before the show even started we sold six um, of our large DPs um, and that's you know it, it, we're just so pleased that people have responded well to them. Um, it, it is a, you know, we love these. Um, they're handcrafted um, in Somerset using local materials. Um, each one takes about a week to make. Um, so, you know, that's a lot of love and a lot of effort being put into them. But we think it really shows. And, uh, and I cut, certainly from the feedback we, we, we've had today, um, people think um, it really shows. So, um, yeah, people are falling in love with them. So we're happy. Leander, I've heard there's a special feature about water with this. Uh, in <laughs> yes, um, they float. Um, we, the, the, um, my business partner, when they came up with the design, he's um, a fantastic boat builder. He's made um, high-class um, racing yachts and... Um, of course, when he was making this, he, he made one that floats. So if you've got a lake and you want to live on your lake, this is your, this is your thing. So thanks for coming and having a look at the DP. Um, we're really pleased that you like it. And um, if, you've got, uh, if you've got any ideas of what you'd like to do with it, then you can find out more information or get in contact on our website. Now, this is a clear sky safari tent. There's 20 in the range, and even park resorts have 12 of these at their parks across the country. And according to Park Resorts, these glamping tents have proved to be incredibly popular. So the likelihood is they'll increase in number over the next few years. And remember, a glamper today is likely to be a caravaner or motorhomer in a few years' time. So it looks like things really are going strength to strength. And that just demonstrates how popular glamping has become. Now I bet you've just gone, wow, isn't that pretty? And isn't it just? This is on the cedar tree stand, and this is the far away Montana. Price tag, £21,500. That's without the jacuzzi. And if you want the jacuzzi, well, that's £25,000. This is one exhibit that TV doesn't do justice. With the cosy feel and the smell of the seed wood in the air. Cedar tree make all sorts of wooden structures, ranging from gazebos, outdoor classrooms and cedar cottages. This lodge has insulation in the floors, the walls, roof and is even double glazed throughout, enabling it to be used all year round. It comes with a 20 year guarantee and with the correct timber maintenance is expected to last 30 to 40 years.
The lodges are made in Stoken Church near Oxford, with the raw cedar wood coming from British Columbia, from fully managed and certified plantations. It was certainly very, very eye-catching. Hi, I'm Paul Zway with Exclusive Tents. Uh, we're here in the UK and at the Glamping Show. And this is one of our smaller design tents named the Kingfisher. Uh, it's a steel frame tent, uh, multi-roof, four roof layers. Uh, we have facilities to include bathrooms. Um, with a bath and a shower and a toilet if one so wishes. Bedroom, living room over here. Uh, the tent has, to say, four roof layers, the outer one being your shade fly, followed by rain fly, the canvas roof and then the inner canvas liner that comes with curtains. The tents are normally set up on wooden platforms. Uh, in this case, it's on a close to the ground than, than what we normally would do it. It'd normally be elevated about a meter off the ground or three feet off the ground. We've got tents that float in rivers, uh, we've got tents up in high mountains. Almost every climatic type of condition that you can imagine, we do have the tents. We're able to insulate them, uh, we can install wood frame windows and doors. Almost anything you can think of that you would do with your home, we can almost do with a tent. Uh, we are in many countries around the world, uh, from Cambodia to uh, the Sahara Desert, High Atlas Mountains, uh, we've got some quite well-known clients, one being Richard Branson and uh, a number of other celebrities in the United States. And uh, we just probably in our field lead uh, tent design uh, in this industry in that it's not the cheapest of tents, but they're probably the most advanced type of tents that one can get. We've, the largest tent we've ever built was uh, 10,000 square feet that was in uh, a tented area which had an additional 10,000 square feet of covered terraces, so a total of 20,000 square feet. And this was done uh, on top of a sand dune in the middle of the desert in the UAE. Mind blowing. So, Paul, how much is the Kingfisher tent then? The Kingfisher tent uh, in British pounds will run just under 10,000 British pounds. Uh, it's normally a little more expensive than that. Uh, they also it could run higher than that if we do uh, also tents in stainless steel. And if we use stainless steel frames as opposed to galvanized steel frames, then the price goes up once again. We, we can also do uh, fire retardancy, then again, price goes up. Whatever add-ons we do increases the price of the tent. Thank you. Thanks very much indeed. You're welcome. Well, that brings us to the end of tonight's programme. Thank you for watching, and hopefully you've been impressed by the glamping show and the whole industry as a whole. And remember, if you'd like to watch this episode in high definition, do visit our website, caravanfinder.co.uk, and click on the TV button. I'm back on in a fortnight. I'll see you then. Bye.